Scott Menzel Hollywood Creative Alliance. I was lucky enough, I, I and I and I really say that lucky enough to see this movie at South by Southwest. Yes, because that crowd, right? That crowd was like the best. So was that your first time there? And what was your experience like being there? Um, it wasn't my first time, my okay. um, but my my life changed. It was just one of those seminal moments in my professional life that I will never forget, like rocking up to the Paramount Theater on Congress Street. And, you know, five of my best friends were there, flew themselves in for my premiere. And um, I, I mean, I, I still feel that energy. And um, going into that theater and watching the movie with this audience where, you know, it was really like important, like Neon is our distributor and they love films, they love cinema, they own these theaters. That's where I go see movies in LA at the Alamo Draft House. And they're not paying me to say this, like this is all true. <laughs> I'm obsessed with, with movies and film and I'm a cinephile and um, so to be able to make a film now in 2024 that comes out in the theaters and to feel that electricity, um, I will never forget it. No, it's something very, very special. And I mean, like, listen, let's, let's, let's be honest with what, each other for a little bit, right? Like, you know, when you have a premiere, whether it's in New York or in LA, right? It's kind of like the audience is very tailor made for the most part, but to kind of premiere at a festival where it's like film lovers unite, that's what kind of makes the experience special. Cause then you're like, if it hits, you know, it hits. And that it's not just like kind of like, oh, we put together this audience. This is sort of from all over the world kind of coming together and expecting, you know, not knowing what to expect from your movie. So that's when you know something's great. Totally. Like you're you're all geeking out together because you all have a common interest. And it's not like, you know, a concert where like all the executives kids are like necklacing the stage and they're like standing there and they're like oh whatever you know everybody's like in it it's like a ufc it was like a ufc oh so cool yes yes uh man i only have two minutes um so the the uh, this is a this film touches upon something that my wife and i often talk about and that is the fact of how life changes when your friends have children. <laughs> and I, I I really want to kind of pick your brain and ask you, why do you feel this topic is not widely like discussed in, in film and television? Like sure, friendships are always talked about, but this topic in particular is not often. Uh, you know, it's so interesting because I remember um, when I had my first daughter um, that, we were friends with a couple who didn't have kids. And um, I remember my daughter came to the table and she was holding something in her hand. And the guy said, what is that, darling? Is that plasticine? He's British. <laughs> and it was poop. <laughs> it was literally shit in her hand. And uh, I was like, whoa! I just was like, no, it's not. It's yeah, it's a weird kind of play doh. <laughs> it's a new color, and um, I remember like <laughs> they kind of fell off <laughs> after that. But because I I also remember the woman, she would get, like get into like these stories, and I would be like, oh yeah, that's interesting. I, I would run and grab a toddler, and like I just can't engage in that way with my kids. And so things fall off because you need somebody to know that you're going to have a splinter of any kind of attention for them because you've got, you're literally saving somebody's life all the time. So that's a big part of it. And, um, you know, it's like the thing, like can a married heterosexual man to another woman be friends with a single heterosexual woman 
Absolutely not. You know why? Because that dude's wife is not having it. And the single lady does not want to be a part of that. It's like soap and pepper on water. Remember those experiments in school? Anyway, that's not what you said. Sorry. Enjoy this, whatever this interview was. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations again. Let's talk again soon. Some, Say hi to your okay? wife and tell her I didn't I didn't even, you know, it's like everything was fine. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Take, take care. care.